YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she got DJ Bishop back again with another video. And today I'm video uh, doing a review on a G, well, not a review, well, unboxing slash review, okay? So first we're gonna unbox it. I know you guys like unboxing. So this is a G-Force air fryer, okay? G-Force air fryer. I'm gonna get behind the camera in a little bit and I'm gonna kinda go over it. But it's an Italian design, 1400 watts. Uh, it's an air fryer for healthy eating. So if you like fries like myself, you like fried foods, this is supposed to be a better uh, alternative to eating fried foods. You can cook it with an air fryer, okay? Some of you might wonder, air fryer, what does that do? Um, I'm not quite sure. I watched a bunch of videos on it. Um, you can pick this thing up here at Amazon. Let me show you the, show you the link. Let me get over here so I can show you the link. You can get it from Amazon. Hope you can see that. It's going to hit you for about 129 bucks. And, uh... They, they do have it, so uh, let me give you some uh, walk around of it here. So it's a G-Force air fryer. So basically what you do is um, <clears throat> put your food in here and it cooks it without the, having grease, like mainly fries and stuff. You know, fries or chicken wings or stuff like that. You can stick it in there and it's just like like a micro, kind of a microwave the thing, but it, it uh, <clears throat> fries the food. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an unboxing so you can kind of see what's going on. Let me bring that down a little bit since I'm not in the video. And let me unbox this thing see what's in here. So this is what you get in the box. Uh, really there's nothing in the box. Get the instructions. Get that. Flip this over so I can see. See what's happening here. Okay, and then let's pull it out. Get this egg shaped device and get it out. Okay, well, it's pretty big. It's kind of heavy too, believe it or not. So that's all you get. A piece of plastic here. Nothing else in the box. Packaging. Plastic instructions. So this is what you get. This is what this thing looks like. So let's open. I don't open. It's the only thing I think open. I don't know how to work this. Oh, it's all taped up. Okay, let's untape it here. Sorry about that, I didn't want to drag this video out. Make it extra long. Why'd they put this tape on here? So it's got a little bit of tape on there. I don't need an unboxing knife for this. Good old fingernails will work. Okay, that's that. So this is what it looks like. It pops out. You got a nice deep tray right here. Uh, there's something in here, cardboard or something. Let me see something here. I'm trying to figure out how you get this thing out because it looks like cardboard in the bottom. That is cardboard. We don't need that. So you get a uh, you get a nice little little basket where you put your food in. I think people say you can put a teaspoon of oil or something in there if you like. Pretty good, good design, metal, plastic on the outside, and then you got a little deep thing in here, and you got to look like a, a, a coil, you can see that. See that coil in there? Like a electric stove or something, with a fan, a coil and a fan on it. And then on the back side, they got a vent, ventilation, let all that hot steam out. On the bottom, there's nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the side, just hand grips. I guess to carry it, nice carry it. And then this thing lights up and do all kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is just really the unboxing, kind of show you what it looks like. It's a pretty big device. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna get it all booted up. I'm gonna get some fries. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna see how this thing works. I'm gonna read the instructions, read them instructions, and then I'm gonna come back with the rest of the video and show you how this thing works. And then we'll do a full re we'll do a review on that going from there. All right. 
See you back in like three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your guy DJ Bishop back with another video. And then, now I'm going to test the G-Force air fryer out. This is it right here. You already seen instructions where to get it from and all the other things. So now I'm going to try it. I actually bought some fries. I want to put some fries in there and see how this thing works. <clears throat> I'm warming it up now. They say you got to warm it up for like uh, three minutes. So I'm going to turn the power off, I guess. It's not shutting down. Okay, that's it. It's nice and hot and warm in there. The bottom is a little hot. So what I'm going to do is uh, get some fries. You know I'm a Chicago kid, so I always like to get something representing Chi-Town. So Checkers, I don't know if you guys got that in your city, but Checkers, Riley, good fries. So I mean, normally I like go with the crinkle too. I like the just original crinkle fries, but I'm going to try this real quick here. No grease, no oil. It's all done by air, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, where's the, I need my unboxing knife. I can't get this thing open. Hold on. So I'll show you what these fries look like, just in case you might want to buy some yourself. I don't know if you got this in your city or not, but they like, uh, this is what they look like. Nice little seasoned breaded fries. See that? Got that nice little coating coat batter on it. Got a little bit of freezer burn on it, but yeah, it's, it's all good. So I'm going to put the fries in there. And put them in this little, this little tray thing here. No oil in there at all. No oil at all. Hold on. I'm just gonna throw them in there. You want some? Okay, that should be enough. I'll show you what it looked like. That should be enough fries, you think so? Okay. So I'm gonna stick it in there. Like so, it all lights up. Giving me some kind of display. Turn the power on, and then you go, uh, oh, I don't want that. I want fries, so, is that fries? I guess that's fries. It says 400 degrees, and that's supposed to go for 15 minutes. <coughs> Let me look at the instruction book real quick. So, potato fries, thin cut fries, time 9 to 16 minutes so I'm gonna get some more time on there 16 minutes on that temperature 400 degrees it's already right there so I'm gonna let that go 16 minutes so I'm gonna do a time lapse so you guys can watch it you know for yourself uh, I'm not gonna do 16 minutes of video so let's do it like this. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to set it up for time lapse. And then you can guys go ahead and go and see what happens. All right, be back in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. It's ready. It's beeping. I actually just came up. It's ready to go, as you've seen from the uh, time lapse. So I'm kind of excited about this. Matter of fact, let me get my food. Show y'all what I'm having today. This is what I'm having for dinner. Got a uh, chicken like a chicken uh, steak sandwich, real chicken breast chopped up, some onions, piece of cheese on there, and I'm gonna have my fries, let's see how they are. Now, here's what I don't like about this thing, before I pull those out. It took 20 minutes to cook those fries, actually a little bit longer because I had to warm it up for five minutes, so 20 minutes, I could have put it in a deep fryer for three minutes and it would have been ready and hot and greasy ready to go so let's shake them up see what we got okay okay let me pour them out That's, they look like they look burnt are they crispy no way mmm they crispy but here's what I got a problem hold on let me get them out got a little grease in there water or something look at the grease you don't know where the grease came from. They got a little grease in there, grease action going on. Um, 
here's the thing. Let me taste them. They're a little burnt. I think I cooked them too long. They're crispy, but I think they're a little bit too crispy. I'm going to get in here close. I think they're a little bit too crispy, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, I want to focus on my hand. There you go. A little bit too crispy. See the burntness on there? Burnt a little bit. Let me break it in half. Show you what that looked like on the inside. Hmm. Hold on. There you go. Ah, oh, this thing is a problem with focusing. This thing has a problem with focusing. Anyway. Anyway. It seemed like it. I don't know. It's different. It's not the same as if I put them in the grease. For some reason. To put the potato in the inside. Tastes funny. Maybe next time I'm only going to cook it for a little bit less time. Cause it's really, it's really crunchy. It probably shouldn't be that crunchy. But they're grease free. No, they're not actually grease free. I still got grease on my finger. So they're not, they're not grease free. I'm trying to do this behind the camera. So they're not grease free. I don't know. I'm still on the fence on this thing. What would I give it on the rating? Um, I don't know. I really don't know what to give it. And the reason I don't know is because the fries taste weird. Hmm. It tastes like I put them in the oven. That's what it tastes like. You know, like it tastes like when you when you buy fries from the restaurant and you put them back in the oven and they're crispy, but the inside is kind of not good anymore. Cause it's kind of like seem like it's old. Hmm. I don't know. I need to. I need to fry. I need to do some crinkle fries or some chicken or something. But for now, I'm gonna give it. Oh man, I don't know what I want to give it. I'm gonna give it a. Uh, uh, should I give it five all day? I mean, it made the fries. No grease. I mean, the fries are still greasy, but it's not as greasy as you would do it in a deep fryer. Crispy. You can hear that. Hear the crunching. I know you hear that. I'm right on the camera. It's crispy. It's crispy. So, that's what it looked like. Yeah. It don't look bad. I don't know how healthy healthy it is. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know how healthy it is because it's the simple fact it still was grease in there, a little bit of grease. And I guess that's just the grease from the fries. You know, if you go back here and look at the grease, you got a little bit of grease in there, a little bit. Not a whole lot, a little bit, a little bit of little drips of grease in there. You see it running. So you know, not a lot. So I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this five all day. I'm gonna give it five fat fingers because it does what it says it do. It cooked my fries. They nice and crispy. Um, they taste a little weird, but I mean, when I say it tastes weird, not weird in a way where they're nasty. It just tastes different. It tastes like I cooked them in an oven or something. That's what it makes it taste like. It has an oven taste to it. So maybe I cook them a little too hard. Try it out. You cooked them too long? Yeah, I got the wife and him. I'm gonna have her taste one. I think I cooked them too long. It tastes like they came out of the oven, huh? Yeah. So I'm gonna chop that up on user error. Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna cook them a little they're less. Cooked, but they're overcooked. Hey, overcooked. That's what I'm looking for the word. Overcooked. So I'm gonna give it five all day. I did what it said it was gonna do. It's not that greasy. It still got a little grease on it, but not too much. Um 
And I'm gonna blame it on my user error. Me screwing it up. But on that note, I am going to uh, eat my food. And I'm gonna get this five all day. So go ahead and grab yourself one of these G Force air fryer or whatever fry air fryer you want. They pretty much all the same. I got this a deal on Groupon, but you can go get any one you want. I'm sure they all they all work the same. So um, on that note, there it is. I'm gonna go rinse this thing out and I'm gonna go eat my food because it's getting cold while I'm talking to you guys. But uh, peace out. Appreciate y'all watching my videos. If you have any comments? Hit me up on the comment section and I'll ask any questions, answer any questions that you have for me. But yeah, this is five all day. Go grab this thing. It does what it says it does. Uh, it does take a long time though, so you might want to stick it in there as they uh, that little slogan say, stick it in there, forget about it. So just kind of stick it in there, go and do something else, come back. And then you have, a, I guess, a healthier choice of, you know, whatever you're eating. All right? Peace. Catch y'all on the next video.